painting shows a woman with a child in her arms. A man with a spear. The image of a dragon. Two men hunting some kind of misshapen beast. Two men hunting some kind of misshapen beast. A group of people peacefully sitting by a fire. An apple is hanging from a tree and a man is picking it. I can't get the branches apart with my bare hands. Perhaps you remember the vision I sent you in the burial chamber as an explanation for the blood ritual. You mean the image of my bleeding hand, the smouldering incense bowl, and you? Correct. Well, you can't talk to the prisoner since the girl would get suspicious. But you could send him a vision and ask him to get on good terms with her. And how? With the spell of vision sending, which I now place in your hands. Cast it on the necklace in your bag, and I'll explain the rest. The spell works only on someone you have a personal item from, and you can only send visions of things which are nearby by using three visions only. You can tell the prisoner that he should get on the good side of the Amazon. Using three visions only? Yes. Direct his attention to his tormentor, then to him, and finally, to a symbol for friendship and sociability. He will, without fail, associate these three things with one another. He can't offend himself against it. The order of the visions does not matter. Shut up! Hmm. It didn't work. Wait for it. Zul, Asasha. Please do me a favor. Take this piece of cloth from my cloak and gag the Fakina. No daughter of Rondra deserves such abuse. What is it? I... I had a vision from my goddess. She instructed me to pluck the prisoner from the tree like an apple. I must follow her command, but I need your help. What should I do? I fear for my sister should I let him go here. Take my horse, which you'll find behind the waterfall, and carry the prisoner up the hill. Once you're far enough away, let him go and send the horse back to me. You can count on me. Thank you. Right. There we are. I'll let you go. And in return, you must keep your promise and guide me to Draconia. Agreed? <sighs> Agreed. Then hold still, so I can free you from your bonds. Do you really want to do that? He already betrayed you once. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. He 
He almost killed you! Didn't you say you knew what you were doing? Yes. <coughs> I fell, and you caught me. I just didn't know how you would do it. <coughs> so you can transform flesh into stone. It... it looks like it. Yes? I thank you. My hands! And now to you. You know, I actually pitied you, the outcast Fakina, whose own people no longer want him, who had to subjugate himself to the laws of the city and sold his honor just to survive. But the moment you hit me over the head with that bone, you lost all my mercy. I'm ordering you one last time to take me to Draconia. You'll feed me when I tell you, and you'll guard me when I sleep. Once I have arrived there safely, with the mask, only then will I restore your hands. My hands! That's right, you bastard. And if you don't obey me, I'll transform the rest of you as well. My hands! They're stone! Very good. You're awake. You? What are you doing here? Where's the demon? Actually, I just came to fetch a few items. But I saw the two of you lying here. And I thought I'd build a fire. One chills so easily around here. Your haunted look tells me that you also have the dreams now. Yes? By Rashtul's curls. What a mess. Have you succeeded in solving the riddle in the meantime? Yeah, I also dreamed of Sadia. Believe me, I did not want that. I'm sorry, but it is not too late. Forget everything you have seen, just as you would forget every other nightly dream. Why? What's so dangerous about it? Oh, Sadia's story itself is harmless. It's only the end which you must guard against. One who carelessly tackles the end is dealing with forces which were better left undisturbed. I don't understand a word. And it should remain that way. The demon is Sadia's magic staff, right? Or someone who has it and thus also has its power to petrify people. Ah, then that was the scene in the Rashtulian wall which you just saw. Unsettling, isn't it? That poor girl, all alone in the wilderness. Don't try to dodge the subject. Garon. Who or what has caused this calamity doesn't matter. Just solve my riddle, and everything will be as it was. How did the riddle go again? As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone. Enter, if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. All we need is the answer, right? The stone is no mere rock, it's Sadia's ruby. She's a descendant of the Mogul, and the ruby is an heirloom. She was planning to use it in some way. Hmm, an interesting idea, but it doesn't explain much. Well, as I see it, we haven't really come any further. Not if you leave me groping around in the dark. Geron, I'm just a simple merchant. I'm also your friend. If there's something I'm keeping from you, then I'm only doing it to protect you. I didn't ask for your protection. I want answers. The answers you seek are dangerous. Geron, I'm warning you. Ignore the dream. Stay away from Draconia and beware the Garden of Oblivion. If you leave the gate to Draconia sealed, the visions will disappear on their own and nothing bad will happen to you or your friend. But if you pursue this path, and make only one single mistake at the end, then a fate worse than death awaits you. On the other hand, if you just solve my riddle, then everything will be fine. Ah. Why don't you take care of her? Ryder, get up. We've got him. Happened. What kind of dream was that? And by the gods, who made a fire here in the middle of the crime scene? That was him. Blast! Where did he go? Oh, my head. 
Bryder. What do you know about a place called Draconia? It's an ancient fortress in the Rastulian Wall. Built by dragons. Alric Bodiak's speciality. Why? Because I'm tired of these games, and because I think we'll find our answers there. You're not a simple would-be hero, are you? No. Let's go home. I'll tell you everything on the way. What a night. I can hardly keep my eyes open. How's your wing? Better. Good. Then let's try again. Do you remember... Think about the first time we met. You lived in a lonely cave for years, and together we found a way to finally free you. And all the things you've seen since then. Andergast, the blood barrier, Enqui. Enqui? Don't you remember? That was the smuggler city in the north. Was that where the ocean was? Right. And do you also remember... The night we spent together in the Brinask Marshes. You wanted to enter a bond of love with me. Did we kiss? You don't remember? I know it was cold, and we were sitting around a fire. <sighs> that was nice. And now think about... Isn't it a wonderful feeling to have defeated the seer and finally be free? What was so bad about him? I liked him. He had such a funny beard. You're mixing everything up. He didn't have anything like a beard. Hmm. Yes, you did that well. Ah, uh, we were quite an heroic couple. We defied the greatest dangers and saved Andergast. Just you and me. And the Raven. We were the best. You did it! You can fly again! Yes. What is it? I forgot what happened to the raven. Oh, Nuri. I want to leave it all behind me and start over. I want to fly across the ocean. Chin up. We'll get through this. Bryder and I want to find out what Fai is hiding from us. And once we know that, we'll finally be able to solve the riddle. Is this still about the story of that princess? That was all such a long time ago. What about now? Nuri, I have to know Sadia's whole story. And for that, I have to talk to Master Bodiak. He's the only one who can tell us what Draconia has to do with all this. Only once I understand it all will the two of us be all right again. And we can finally forget all the terrible things forever. I don't see Ulrich at his window. I hope he's here. Ah, here. Bryder? What are you doing in there? Detention. Absence without leave. Scrubbing latrines. Have you talked to the master about Draconia? No, and he isn't here either. From the harbor, go up the hill. His house is right on the corner by the wall. I don't believe my ears. Did you just tell this man where Master Bodiak lives? We expect much more out of you, Bryder. Stop disappointing us. She didn't do anything wrong. It was my fault. And you, Birdcatcher, leave the court immediately. I'm sorry. If Bryder's description is correct, this is the Master's house. Nice stuff, but who needs it? Blasted crows! Haven't you caused enough trouble? Shoo! Go away! Hey! Those are my friends! Nuri? I'm sorry, I... I didn't see you there. What did they ever do to you? Don't you remember all the misery they caused? Of course I remember. But you have to be able to forget, too. What do you want? You really shouldn't hang around with those creatures. You mustn't forget who you are. No, it's you who mustn't forget who I am. Please leave my friends alone, all right? Have you been here long? Master Bodiak lives here. Have you seen him come by? Yes, he went into the house earlier, but he hasn't come out again. Good, thanks. Hmm, I have to get into that house somehow. Can you fly through the window for me and look for a way in? Do I have to? It would help us both. All right.
There's ivy growing here, but it's not strong enough to carry my weight. Ah, my friend. How's the gemstone business? I had some trouble with a customer and I had to give it up. I'm sorry to hear that. I might need to ask another favor of you. My services are still at your disposal. The cucumber you gave me was very... fruitful. What happened to Bryder? She was cleaning latrines this morning. Yes, apparently she tried to catch the tillamide all on her own yesterday and returned to the dormitory after curfew. The fact that she only had to clean latrines is a sign of the status she enjoys in the school. I think they want to make her the new headmaster someday. Well, headmistress, I suppose. See you later. Farewell, my friend. By the... Master Bodiak?